This is the Monday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with weather. Well, we're looking at a relatively quiet pattern here. Chance for a shower or two over the northern mountains tonight. Fewer showers tomorrow. Just some spot stuff across the north. Otherwise, mostly sunny skies. Nice conditions with rising temperatures continuing to warm through Wednesday and likely Thursday as well, where highs will eventually get back into the 80s. Into Thursday afternoon, though, things do start to get at least interesting. We could well creep some moisture into the eastern side of the state. That could fuel occasional thunderstorms. An Albuquerque woman who drove carelessly and killed a bicyclist three years ago is back behind bars, accused this time of driving recklessly and drunk driving, too. Miranda Pacheco made her first court appearance today. Police stopped Pacheco early Sunday after an officer says he saw her swerving all over the road, even driving into oncoming traffic. The 28-year-old spent 90 days in jail after she was convicted of reckless driving for losing control of her car in Paseo del Norte in 2010 crashing through a fence and killing David Anderson. This time around, she's charged with aggravated DWI, reckless driving, and no proof of insurance. The judge set her bond on those charges at $15,000, but she's also on a no bond hold for an unrelated probation violation in connection with an auto burglary case. The New Mexico Health Department is reaching out to the victims of El Dentista. Police say Eliver Kessler is an unlicensed dentist who illegally worked on people out of his car. Pliers, teeth molds, and vials of numbing drugs, all kept in dirty boxes and suitcases, were found in that car. Five people have filed police reports in Santa Fe against Kessler so far, including a woman who claims he convinced her to have four teeth pulled, and she says that led to an infection. The health department is offering free and confidential counseling services and testing for hepatitis B and C as well as HIV. If you need that help, contact the Santa Fe County Public Health Office. And join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.